The mission of inquiry into taxi violence in Gauteng resumed today with roads and transport MEC Jacob Mamabolo taking the stand. The provincial government appointed Judge Jeremiah Shongwe to lead the inquiry following a taxi summit in July. Linda Kufle Kulu is monitoring the commission for us. He joins us now in studio. So what did the MSC have to say about the violence? Well, Shahan, as you rightfully say, that this was a resolution that was taken from the 2019 Taxi Summit and that uh, Jacob Mamabulo was the first one to sit on that commission of inquiry today. And what he's basically saying was that uh, he was taking us through the fact that in 2017 there was a similar summit that was held um, in Gauteng, particularly looking at some of the issues around uh, the taxi industry. And one of them was taxi violence. So what they are saying is that uh, during the period of uh, 2017 up to 2019, Nothing has been done since those resolutions were taken. So that is why they elected to have that summit ultimately coming up with a resolution that they need to establish a commission of inquiry of this uh, sort. And what he was testifying there was that he believes that uh, the South African police services for starters are not doing uh, a, a proper job in terms of combating the crimes and arresting the perpetrators in the taxi industry. But one of the things they are looking for is some of the problems to get to the crux of the problem as to what exactly is causing this violence. Violence. But one of the things is cited is that every time when you respond to a taxi violence, such as the one we saw uh, last week in Tuan, in fact it was this week, if I'm not mistaken, but what he said was that there's always a mention of roots, and he says that ultimately paints a picture of them and their re lack of resolution, I mean, a lack of, uh, uh, you know, uh, making sure that they do the administrative work in terms of the permits they hand out to taxi industry. So what he's basically saying is that they have to take the responsibility and regulate the industry and that is one of the things they are trying to establish with this commission of inquiry to say what is the problem and therefore how can we provide solutions by regulating the industry better. Yeah, and that's something government has been struggling to do across all provinces in this country. So what are the cost implications for Gauteng residents for an inquiry like this? Well, from starters, Jahan, this is the first day of that uh, particular inquiry looking into taxi violence. This was one of the questions I had. In fact, on the sidelines of that uh, particular inquiry, just at the tea break and lunch as well, asking the MEC, asking the spokesperson for the commission, uh, but none of them uh, seemed to be able to provide me with uh, the answers. In fact, I did even ask them to say, please give me a projection or the estimated budget that you are will, uh, you're going to spend here since it is a six-month uh, an inquiry that is expected to run about six months, but they are remaining mum around that. What the MEC did say eventually was that he will be trying to get me those figures, but it also begs the question to say wha how much as Gauteng residents are we coughing out in terms of this particular commission and if indeed it will provide the desired results that the MEC and of course uh, the uh, taxi summit all together with the stakeholders of the taxi industry uh, sought out to achieve with this particular uh, inquiry. Yeah, regardless of the cost, we know this country, we love inquiries, don't we? <laughs> We're going to leave it right here. Our reporter, Linda Kutle-Kulu.